So today we're just going to go through a knees plank, um, elbows and, a, and a, a toes plank as well. So again, good core strength. Um, if you're not very strong, then I would start with a knees plank. So you want to be on your elbows and then on your knees. So you don't want to be dropping the hips too much. You want to come in. You don't want to stick the bum in the air too much either. Again, it's all about a neutral spine. On this exercise, you won't be too much like that. You will tuck the pelvis in a little bit. You want to have your elbows directly under your shoulders in this position. And you would start by trying to hold that, bracing the abs for pain in your lower back when you do this. From there, to advance it, then you might come up into a push. So you're in a, a still a kneeling plank, but now you're in a push position or a tall position. Same thing, not dropping the hips back, not sticking, sticking the bum back too far, all the weight on my hands, tuck the pelvis in slightly, and try and focus on bracing through my abs. If you want to make this more advanced, then you can go up onto your toes. So back down to the elbows, up onto my toes. All my weight is in my arms here, so I'm not back this way through my feet. I'm really up on my toes, hips high, so again, not rounded, not too arched, tuck the pelvis in a little bit. And your aim is to get to a 60 second hold. From there, if you want to make it harder, you can go up onto your hands to a push position. Same thing. So now we're in a push up position, not excessively arching, not rounding too much, not shifting the weight back onto the heels, all the weight on the hands, bracing the abs and hold for 60 seconds. Give them a go. Uh, I do three sets of 60 before you train or as part of your workout. Really help you build up some core strength so you can get more gains from your training.